Uh, hi, I'm David of the Isle Guys here at Anime Midwest. Here today, I'm interviewing Joel McDonald. How you doing today? I'm all right. How you doing? <laughs> doing better now. Uh, what was it like working on Assassination Classroom? Uh, Assassination Classroom has been a blast. Uh, it's a broadcast dub, as you know, and mm -hmm. so that means we're doing really quick turnarounds, uh, which is already a little tricky, especially when I had to uh, cast 27 junior high students in the first episode. Uh, and, uh, you know, we did pretty much 22 consecutive weeks, so it's been kind of crazy, but I've got uh, the best director. She started off as my assistant director on that show, mm -hmm. uh, but Afia Yu has actually taken over uh, lead director responsibilities. Uh, she's been doing uh, the bulk of the recording. She does a lot of the reviews and stuff, and so I help out when I can, but uh, most of my time lately has been spent on One Piece. Yeah. Um, what was it like working on Panty and Stocking? Penny and Stocking was one of those rare shows where, like, where ad-libbing and improv was totally encouraged. Uh, you know, for, for the most part, it's like, you know, the script is written, you know, it matches flaps, so, you know, just read the words that are on the page. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but for the most part, just do it like we already planned. Right. But Penny and Stocking was fun because we really got to goof around, and if we could make Colleen laugh, it usually made it to the DVD. And right. that was great. It was cool. Um, what was it like working on Dead Man Wonderland? Dead Man was... Uh, that was its. It was a weird animal. Uh, cause, I mean, I loved it. It was great, but it was so hard to watch at times. Like, right. I, like, and and I, I really. It's the first uh, anime or anything animated that I'd seen that like there was a whole like scene where I, I couldn't watch it because like I was so. I, the, the, it's the eyeball scene. Uh, nice yeah, and gritty. We, yeah, and like <laughs> I mean, actually, I watched it the first time that I was going through, but like every other time that we were we were recording with it or anything else, I would like I and I knew it was animated. Like I didn't <laughs> like I'm, I'm an adult. I can watch this, but no, it freaked me out every time. Has that effect on the mind? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sticks with you. Um, what was it like working on One Piece? One Piece is, uh, man, it, well, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I, it's it's uh, it's kind of tricky because and, and Mike's been nothing but just a, a huge help. Right. Uh, but it's it's an, uh, it's already an epically large cast and it continues to grow with every mm -hmm. episode. Uh, and so that presents its own challenges. But uh, really, it's it's kind of fulfilling. It's actually it's very fulfilling uh, when you find that right person that you just like. How did we not know we know about you before? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if it's a theater person in the Dallas area or if it's someone uh, in L.A. or somewhere else that's uh, uh, that's in interested in and, and has done before uh, it's, it's great when you when everything kind of clicks uh, right. and, and you find uh, someone new to bring into the world of one piece and it uh, it's it's a lot of fun it's it's really hard work and it's really uh, to, to me it's really stressful because you know Mike's worked on it for you know so long mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm relatively new to the boat uh, but uh, you know it's just wanting to maintain the integrity of the dub as it already existed before right. I showed up that's it's a little stressful but you know so far Mike's been he's just been great about helping me down down the line so I am um, is there anything you uh, want to talk about? Anything you can plug at this time? Uh, at this time, no. I mean, with this, with the, these broadcast stubs going like they are, uh, you guys know about stuff almost when I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So it's not like I'm like hiding secrets from six months from now. Uh, so far, yeah. If it's uh, if you guys know about it, we're working on it. Yeah. Right now, with uh, Anime Expo going on right now, there's yeah. so much stuff that's just being announced. Right. Um, what was it like working on Initial D? Uh, Initial D was really, really stressful for me <laughs> for a different reason, but it was because uh, Colleen Clinkenbeard was originally going to direct, uh. Uh, and then she did all the casting. Uh, after the casting was done, uh, uh, she ended up getting very uh, caught up in other projects. She told me, she was like, I cannot devote the time to this series that it needs. Uh, I need you to direct it. And I was like, mm. but you just cast me as the lead, and I'm still pretty new. And uh, so, you know, having to, uh, you know, while I was still more or less learning to direct, and I, I mean, I still feel like I kind of am, but, you know, when I, I was really early on, uh, but not only having to teach myself to direct as I was going, but also to teach myself to direct myself as mm. I was going, and that's that's not fun uh, when you're just, <laughs> just getting started. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, love, I fell in love with a show that I never, I don't like cars, I don't care about cars, I did not <laughs> think I would like the show, and it's it quickly became one of my favorite things I ever worked on. Um, do you have a Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media no. that people can get a hold of you at? Uh, the only uh, social media I have is my Twitter account, which is at, at, yes, to, at. <laughs> it's really confusing, and I regret it now, but I don't care enough to change it. <laughs> so that's where we are. Uh, well, thank you for joining us, and thank you for letting us interview you today. Uh, I'm David. This is Joel. See you guys next time.